Hey everyone, welcome back and hello if you are new to my channel. I'm gonna get right into the video, so let's get into it. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, I bought the Godox VL200 light and I'm really excited that I get to use it now and because I was debating whether or not to purchase it and I was doing a whole bunch of research and watching multiple videos and looking at specs and I was like, I'll just invest in it. And I'm really glad I did. I'll give you a few reasons why I decided to purchase it versus other brands, I guess. And I won't be going into like specs or anything. There's tons of videos. That's one of the reasons I purchased it because of all the other videos out there talking in detail about it. So, um, but yeah. So one of the first reasons I purchased this light was the price point. And I would say it's pretty affordable considering everything the light does and how it packs a punch. The light is only $549 and I say only because if you look at the Aperture 120B Mark II, I think that's like $749, I believe, but and which is an amazing light and I originally was going to purchase that light but I went ahead and went with the the Godox because it was a little cheaper but still has that really great quality so yeah it's a great price point and starting light for I guess beginner filmmakers or if you just need a video for your social media like YouTube and Instagram or TikTok, <laughs> if you want to go all out, all out like that, you know. And I'll have a light linked in the description if you guys want to check it out or add it to your list or buy it or whatever. So the second reason I purchased this light was it's a great beginner light. You know, lighting is crucial in filmmaking and video. So I was like, what can I get? To start out with like i said i was going to purchase the aperture 120d but this light is cheaper and it has the same capabilities so i just went with that um, i'll be doing test footage to share with you guys some will be in this video you probably already seen some but i'll be doing separate videos on lighting techniques like carlos diggs he's a really great filmmaker that I love watching on YouTube and he'll do like lighting breakdowns and it's just really inspiring and cool so I'll be doing something similar to that for myself to practice and then it might help anyone in the same situation or not situation but it might help anyone learning along with me so yeah and then the third reason I bought this light was just upgrading, I think I said that as my second one, but I just upgrading my lighting equipment for video because if you go to a client, you want to have that value in your production. So having a great light that's powerful enough to do what you need it to do on that job will help you in the long run and benefit your business and also like the look of it will show people you know oh they're serious about filmmaking and video so like if you're doing a video for a coffee shop or something this will help with an interview you want to do or you know like get some b-roll for a sequence you want to do I, I can't wait to use this light I actually, I'm already planning my next short film and if you haven't already, check out the trailer to my current short, short film that's about to come out in, I'll say a couple days because I'm not sure which day I'm uploading this video, but yeah, the full trailer, full film is coming out soon with my friend Shaylin Nelson, who is a, an amazing, talented artist. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll link that in the description as well. But um, yeah, those are just a few reasons of why I purchased this light. And so far with the footage that I've done, I'm really happy with it. And I, I'm going to continue to work with it and film different things and um, 
but yeah, like I was saying, I have a short film that I'm doing pretty soon. I'm doing storyboarding and doing all of that right now. So I'll be using this light for the interview for that. And yeah, I just I have so many ideas I want, to, I want to do. And that's why I was like, I need a more, I need a powerful light that can work with what I want to do. And, you know, you could just throw some gels on here for color correction or if you want a specific look. Um, like you could throw, you know, gels help in so many different ways. Oh, and I will say, this light is really quiet. Even with the fan going, it's so quiet. Yeah. So overall, this light is really great and amazing for the price point. And a great starter light too, if you if you're someone looking to get that more professional looking videos and just quality from a great light, then the Godox VL200 is a really great choice to start out with. I think that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what your thoughts are on this light on the Godox VL200 and if you have it or you're thinking about purchasing it and if you don't have it what light do you guys use for your client work or just your YouTube videos in general or any other videos so make sure you give this video a like consider subscribing and yeah leave a comment down below I like to know what you guys think and yeah I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one bye